Well, good morning everyone. Hope you're doing good and having a great week. Now, following my last video where I showed you my visit to three coin stores in a single day, let's go ahead now and take a look at the first coin store. This is the Monetarium Auction Company. And as you saw at the beginning of this video, we're gonna take a look at all the coins that I won during their recent auctions. Again, to all my returning subscribers, thank you for your support. And to all our viewers and those recently subscribed, thank you and welcome to this channel. Now, the Monetarium Auction Company held a series of auctions in the month of April and May. I participated in a few of those, winning these four lots of coins. And for this video, we're going to take a look at each lot in turn. But before I show you all these coins, do leave me a like if you enjoy this sort of content. And don't forget to share and subscribe. So, let's take a look at the first lot. Okay, so the first lot of coins we're going to take a look at are these Kokobara coins from the Perth Mint. And this was one from an auction held on the 30th of April 2023 and this is from lot number 147093. Right over here we have two Kokobara coins, a 2 ounce and a 1 ounce. The 2 ounce was issued in 1993 while the 1 ounce was issued in 1991. Here's a closer look at the 1 ounce Kokobara coin. This is the second issue of the Kokobara series and this is one of the few that were issued in this uh, commemorative holder. I already have one of these uh, coins uh, in my collection, but unlike that coin, uh, this commemorative holder here is protected by these two clear plastic cover. I have not seen this style of uh, packaging uh, before with the covers, so it would be interesting to know if this is officially how the Perthman actually issued these coins. Now because it's protected, the coin inside is actually in really good condition. So this was a really nice score. Here's a closer look at the 2 ounce Kokobara coin issued in 1993. And this is actually the first 2 ounce Kokobara coin design issued for this series. Now this design was actually printed for 2 years, 1992 and 1993. Although they are the same for both years. I do have one of these coins from 1992 in my collection and if you like to watch the video of that coin where I actually try to clean the tarnish off of it, I'll leave the link to that video right up here. Now unfortunately for this coin, although it's in a pretty good condition, the original case that is in this capsule over here is damaged. As you can see it's cracked over here, but because of that I can actually open it up and show the coin to you in closer detail. Well, as you can see here, that the coin is actually in excellent condition. It's a shame that the capsule was damaged. And I'm gonna go ahead and try to find a 50mm capsule to fit on this coin as well as the other coin that I have in my collection. For this lot of Kukubara coins, nobody actually bid it for this. And I want these 3 ounces of silver for 100 Singapore dollars plus the auction fees. So I thought that was a really great score. I won two other coins in the same auction. And this is from lot number 147073 and 147071. Both these are NGC graded Malaysian one ringgit coins. We have a commemorative one ringgit coin here and a one ringgit parliament coin. Here's a closer look at the commemorative coin. Uh, this coin was issued in 1986 and it commemorates the introduction of the 5th Malaysian 5-year plan. This coin has achieved a grade of mint state 66 and I do have the entire series of these commemorative coins as raw coins in my collection. Now I don't have the intention of collecting all the graded examples of these coins of the series but there was uh, no bids for this particular lot and I won this coin here at a price that was less then what you will pay if you will send this coin off to NGC for grading. Here's the second Malaysian coin. This is the Malaysian One Ringgit Parliament coin and these coins were issued from 1971 to 1986. There are a total of 7 different coins and this is one of the graded coins that are missing from my collection. Here's my NGC graded Malaysian One Ringgit Parliament coin collection. As you can see, I'm missing the coin from 1984 to 1985. And with the addition of this coin that I won from the auction from 1984, I'm currently now just missing the coin from 1985. So this collection is actually almost complete. 
uh, do note over here for this series of coins, the coin from 1982 is the key to this entire set. So here's the final lot of coins that I won from the auction. This auction was held on the first week of April and this is lot number 151070. This is actually the lot that I was really interested in and I had this on my wish list because uh, winning uh, this coins over here will allow me to complete all my Malayan silver coin collection which bear the effigy of King George VI. These four NGC graded coins were sold as a single lot and the great news about this auction is that there was just one bidder for this lot and I won this for around 100 Singapore dollars. So that's a really great score as uh, paying a 100 Singapore dollars for these four graded coins is way less than what you would pay if you were to send all these coins here for grading to NGC. And the coin that I'm uh, interested in for this lot is this one here the Malaya 5 cent coin from 1941. This silver 5 cent coin was minted in India and if I show you the reverse, you can see the min mark, the letter I, just over here below the face value. This is indicated on the label. You can see over here it's indicated 1941I and this coin has achieved a grade of min state 62. For this denomination, the coins are with the portrait of King Charles VI there are a total of 6 coins to collect and with the addition of these coins, I finally managed to collect all the coins of the series. Here is the coin from 1939 and over here we have the coin from 1941. Here is the coin from 1941i. Then we have the coin from 1943, 1945 and finally the coin from 1945. I emitted in India. So a total of six coins. If I can show that properly while wearing my gloves. Right over here. And the collection is complete. The other three coins in this lot are coins that I already have graded in my collection. Here we have a 1945 10 cent coin. Here's a 1941 a 5 cent coin. This is graded MS61 as opposed to the one that I have in my collection which is graded MS64. So this is the coin that I'll be uh, keeping for my collection. And finally, we have this coin here, which is a 10 cent from 1939 with a grade of MS64. And this coin is uh, particularly interesting to me because this coin here has a higher grade than the one that I have in my collection. So here's the 1939 10 cent coin that I currently have in my collection. As you can see, this coin has been graded as AU58 I scored this coin quite a while back and I actually paid quite a lot for it. In fact, the price that I paid for it is pretty close to what I paid for all the 4 coins that I won from the monetary auction. So this was actually an extremely expensive coin, I probably paid too much for it. But with the addition of this coin here, I can upgrade my collection of Malayan Tencent coins. And this collection of 10 cent silver coins consists of four different coins from 1939 to 1945. Here's the 1939. This is the 1941. Here we have the 1943. And finally, here's the 1945 with a grade of MS64, which is higher than the coin that I won from the auction. This is uh, MS63. So I'll be putting this aside and this collection here is complete. Now to finish off the collection of Malayan silver coins featuring the portrait of King George VI, we have these three 20 cent coins. There were only three coins that issued during his reign. Here we have the coin from 1939, coin from 1943 and finally the highly collectible coin from 1945 which is in a pretty low grade of AU55. Uh, coins uh, from 1945, uh, the 20 cent coin with a grade of mean state are uh, extremely expensive and I've yet to find the right deal to add to this collection so that I can uh, upgrade it. 
But anyway, uh, the coins from uh, Malaya, the silver coins with the portrait of King George VI. Uh, there are a total of 13 coins. And with the, the lot that I won from Monitorium, I'm finally able to complete uh, this collection. And with that, I guess that will do it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. If you are here in Singapore and you wish to participate in the auctions held by the Monitorium Auction Company, you can download their app which is available at the Google Play Store or the Apple App Store. Stay tuned to my channel, I'll just share with you next in my next two videos what I scored from the China Jialong Trading Company and the Clifford Coin Store here in Singapore. If you do have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, don't forget to leave me a like if you have enjoyed this content and be sure to hit that share and subscribe buttons down here if you have not done so. As always from everybody over here, you all please take care, be safe and have a nice day.